guys, it's Sprout here, and I'm gonna do a very quick um, overview of what I'm gonna talk about. I'm talking about my new Wolf Quest series, um, which I'm calling Legends of Blood. I'm gonna talk about the pack leaders and their religion and just all kinds of stuff like that. So if you are interested in my Wolf Quest series, please stick around. And if you're not interested, then maybe you watch the art anyways. But uh, yeah, so let's get into it. Why the name Legend of Blood? So, um, Leopard, my wolf, she is forming her own pack called Blood Pack. And also the history and the other clans, it's all about like blood as in lineage and family. So there's gonna be a lot of like drama, clan drama, family drama, because I love me a good dramatic story. And speaking of stories, so this is all based on my single solo game I'm playing Wolf Quest, but how I like to play games is I like to create world build. I like to create stories. I like to, you know, make it interesting. And so that's what I'm doing, but kind of with you guys. So if you don't know, I have a Discord server and you actually can role play and create characters in the other packs that aren't Blood Pack. And we all just are kind of like hanging out and it's, it's pretty cool. So if you're interested in that, go head on over there. I also apologize for saying clan a hundred times. I mean pack, but I do a lot of warrior cat stuff too. So I might like the lingo might, I might mess up, but just bear with me. So the legend of the land. So this is kind of like, now I'm going to be talking more about like how the packs were formed, the original three, which actually, oh my gosh, before we talk about the legend, let me talk about the current leaders. So here's the current leaders. We have Pearl from gem pack. We have void from Crescent Pack, and we have Oak from Sprout Pack. And so these three packs have been on this land for, you know, hundreds of years and have all more or less lived peacefully. And so this now is the legend that like formed the gods, which I'll speak about in a second. So the legend is that there was a brand new family that of uh, wolves that found this land, this whole land. It was a mother, a father, and their one single pup. The father was from a pack and wanted to make his own pack, and so he left his old pack. <laughs> and the mother was originally a loner and just kind of was born to loners and stuff like that. So the after they came and found this land, they would fight a lot on how to run their new pack. Um, a huge debate was over other loners wanting to join. The father was kind of a hypocrite and he didn't want to trust the loners and thought it wouldn't be safe and that they should just, you know, keep having their own puppies and kind of go that route. While the mother was kind of naive and she wanted to trust like all wolves because her family was loners and she just thought it would be okay. As this couple, you know, grew up, they, they split up. So after the pup was old enough to kind of live on their own, the parents decided to go off on their own and they would just start their own packs with different mates and all of that. And then the daughter, um, the pup, ended up making her own pack too. And so this is how the three packs were formed. Um, the three packs are Sprout Pack, whose god is the flower child or the child. There is Crescent Pack, who is um, based after the father. And there is Gem Pack, who they worship the, the mother. And now I'm gonna talk about each one of the gods separately. The legend that is taught to current wolves is that, you know, these three family members split up and started their own packs and they each taught the, their own packs on how they should run as a, like, like a pack. So the first one we'll talk about is Sprout Pack and the Flower Child. Some people call her the Flower Pup um, or just like the child or just the pup. Um, but she really wants to remain peaceful and docile. She believes and she teaches that helping the pact first over individual wolves, that killing is only when you must, but try to talk out your situations first and your issues first. Um, and with their dead, they actually believe in just letting the dead lay and become one with the earth. So 
uh, because of when she was young and she saw her parents fighting and stuff, she wanted to create this very, very peaceful, very non-confrontational pack, and that is who Sprout Pack is today. Crescent Pack was based off of the father and what he wanted. So he wanted to teach them how to be loyal. The alpha is the most important thing in the pack. Very strict leadership. Loners must be removed any way possible. Um, murder is a way of life and very normal. And with their dead, they believe in burning the bodies so that the ashes and the bodies can travel up to the father, who they believe is like in the sky. Um, Sprout Pack believes that the flower child lives in nature. And then the last pack, Gem Pack, is based off of the mother. So she wants to show you how to be truly free. Very relaxed leadership, no rules, very like cool mom type vibes. Um, but it is kind of a they, you can do whatever you want, but it's also like a fend for yourself type deal. There's not a lot of like um, inner, like, I can't really explain it, but yeah, it's kind of like a fend for yourself instead of like work together um, and kind of manipulative and greedy as a, as a pack. They kind of just take what they want, you know? And with their dead, they actually bury the bones to be closer to mother because they believe that mother is like below and in the ground and stuff like that. So how does all of this relate to Leopard? Leopard is a wolf that doesn't believe in any of these religions and is coming from a faraway land and she wants to take over the packs and you know claim all of it so the reason i wanted to make this religion and talk about the other packs is because they're going to interact with her she's going to be killing their wolves to take over they're probably going to come back and try to hurt her you know maybe allegiances will be formed like i'm not sure it's all gonna kind of be built the story is going to be built as i play wolf quest but i thought this would be really cool and just kind of for world building, for people who make OCs, for uh, relationships, and all that kind of stuff. And so here's a few last little things about the gods. They can visit the mortal realm. So like they can visit the wolves. Um, but usually they only will visit the current leaders. Because like, uh, let's say for example, the mother visits Pearl and is like, you know, I want to warn you something bad's going to happen. Or, you know, just to give advice or pretty much whatever they want to talk about. Um, the mother and father gods, they still fight each other and they want to like continue to fight each other, but they're not strong enough to travel that far. Um, the mother being underground and the father being in the sky. And their powers are weaker on Earth. So when they, if they both were to be um, on Earth at the same time, they could just fight forever. Like ne they would, neither of them would win. They can't die or be killed. Um, I'm still unsure on if they can hurt living wolves. Um, I might just, you know, that might just be something we decide later, but uh, they can't be killed. And they're also genderless um, as like gods, they're deities and, you know, spirits, kind of whatever. Each wolf probably thinks something a little bit different. Um, you can also have OCs that are in a pack and that doesn't believe in the gods, but I think it's pretty, um, common knowledge that like you believe in whatever god you live in and I think the wolves believe in all of the gods but they choose kind of which ones they want to like worship if that makes sense so like you know this is I really like um, the idea of like made-up religions like star clan and stuff so I thought I would give it a try with the wolf quest series so I hope you guys like this I hope you enjoyed the speed paint and how they look um, I think that's all. I'm going to actually film the next episode right after this. So wish me luck with our seven children. Oh, so scared. So scared. But okay. I've been talking for a long time. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Hope you're very excited for this new series. Bye.